This is Michael Oral from Mobileburn.com, and today we're going to take a look at the BlackBerry Presenter. It is a portable PowerPoint presentation device. Uh, it connects to your phone via Bluetooth and connects to your monitor or uh, projector through a VGA or S-Video cable. Before we get into showing you how the presenter actually works, let's take a look at the hardware design. You can see it's a pretty simple looking device, uh, a block, kind of like a maybe a wide bar of soap or something like that. And I'll show you next to a Bolt 9700, so you can see in terms of size, definitely smaller than the, the 9700, but um, quite a bit thicker. Now, if we take a closer look at this back panel here, you can see that there is a VGA output and as well as a S-Video output, so it makes it uh, pretty easy to hook up to most projectors, uh, even HD televisions or regular monitors. That's a micro USB power connector there, and this device has no battery, so it has to be connected to a power source in order to be used. This little switch under here allows you to switch between NTSC and PAL, so whether you're in um, you know, North America or in Europe, you'll want to switch that to, so it syncs up properly with your television or um, you know, projector. Up top here is a button. It's used for uh, placing the device into standby. Um, th very simple things like that. There's really not much necessary in terms of controls on this because it's almost all controlled by the uh, BlackBerry Presenter application that runs on your phone. What you're seeing here is the standby screen coming from the presenter, uh, showing on a large 19-inch monitor. Uh, you could put it on a regular projector, of course, or even into any of a number of different uh, HD TVs. Um, but for my per test purposes, we're just going to use a regular monitor through a VGA cable. Now, let's take a look at the application on the BlackBerry device itself. So here's the application running on the BlackBerry. This is a BlackBerry Bolt 9700. You can see it allows you to browse through memory cards to look for you know things you've copied on there. So it can also be used to access uh, presentation files that have been sent as an attachment to an email. I'm just going to call up one of the previously loaded PowerPoint presentations I've used. It takes a couple of seconds to load up and uh, I've already used this one so it's already been transferred over to the actual device. The PowerPoint presentations can be actually stored inside the BlackBerry presenter itself. I see right now we're seeing it on the screen of the BlackBerry, but not on the actual projector screen, or the monitor screen in this case. If I go into the menu and I hit present, however, it asks me to select a BlackBerry presenter, and then it connects. And in a second, you'll see it come up on the monitor. And there it is. Now that I have present mode turned on, I can use the uh, trackpad to navigate through slides, or I can use the spacebar just like you typically would with a PC computer. There's also options for turning on speaker notes. So instead of seeing the actual slide, I'd see the notes. Now there's no notes on this one, but there are notes on screen too. So you can see I'm seeing notes here but the uh, viewers of the presentation are actually seeing the slide. So let's take a quick look at the presentation itself. Uh, obviously I have no skills with PowerPoint so uh, I've done very minimal things here but you can see they'll, they have things like transitions. Uh, the presenter supports most transitions. We already talked about speaker notes. It has a loop mode so you can just keep going over and over and over playing the presentation um, automatically and that's again as I mentioned because it's stored in the presenter itself. There's also a freeze mode so you can move to a slide yourself and see it on the phone while the viewers of the presentation actually see a particular slide. So uh, I could freeze this slide while I move elsewhere. You can turn off the presentation. I'll do that by hitting the blank screen function here. Let's see if we can pull it up quickly. You can see the screen went blank. And I'll go back and hit show screen and it'll come back on. And again I'll show you with the freeze mode. I'll freeze this slide so you can see while I'm changing the background image is not changing. So this allows me to navigate or skip ahead or something so as I can get to a particular slide and skip over other slides. There's also support for changing the screen resolution. And um, let's go back to the main screen. Go into the next slide. 
support for some animations like the transitions but you also get some animations uh, simple PowerPoint animations like this moving image here and you know some timing and things like that you embed images as you can see here and you have control over colors backgrounds and stuff like that but there are some real limitations here uh, no embedded embedded video support uh, no sound support because there are actually there are no audio ports on the devices we've already seen and um, really minimal font support um, you can see there's a slight change in what the font looks like in that last bullet point there but it doesn't even match what we see on the phone if I pull up the phone we'll take a look at that see it's quite obvious on the phone's preview of the slide that very minimal is in a courier font but when we look at the actual screen that the viewers are seeing it just kinda looks like a uh, different size font so really minimal font support on this device you'll note that while the presenter is connected like now the LED at the top of the device shows up in blue but as soon as I disconnect the presentation you'll see that reflected by the red flashing LED it's worth mentioning that the Blackberry presenter comes with a nice case has a magnetic latch on it obviously no belt attachment or anything like that but so keep it nice and protected and uh, hopefully scuff free inside your briefcase so that's my quick look at the Blackberry presenter uh, it will go on sale soon hopefully for $199.99 and uh, if you don't like toting a laptop around for doing your presentations at uh, business meetings and things like that you know you can really get by and do a lot of nice things with uh, just a Blackberry device and the Blackberry presenter here you have to live with the limited font support and uh, you know lack of video and audio support as well but still if you really want to get by with the lightest amount of weight when you're traveling, uh, this is one good way to do it. So again, that's the BlackBerry Presenter. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.